Sunday Club, it's great to see you. Thanks for joining us. We've got a packed programme planned for you. Yes, we've got a Bible verse we're roaming about in Romans. We've got a short talk. Yes. And we've got a crafty game, a sort of craft and game combined. And you'll need some paper and a pen if you want to join in with that. And we've got a song. Yes, a new song that is. Well, let me start straight away with my short talk. See you shortly. Well, we've been following a series at our church on hope. About six weeks, I think, maybe even seven, on hope. And you may be thinking, well, can we do something else? We've done hope, and last week we did hope, and the week before, and the week before that. Well, the truth is, we need as much hope as we possibly can get. And the source of real, lasting hope is in God. He is the source of hope. He is where we can get real, certain hope from. So it's been great to be stuck in hope for a few weeks, but it's the last one. And today we're thinking of being hope-filled, as well as hopeful. Hope-filled. See, we're in Romans chapter 15, verse 13. I'll read it to you. Here we go. I pray that the God who gives hope will fill you with much joy and peace while you trust in him. Then your hope will overflow by the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray that the God who gives hope will fill you with much joy and peace while you trust in him. Then your hope will overflow by the power of the Holy Spirit. But how can we be filled with hope? Because hope seems to sort of vanish. It seems to leak out of us, doesn't it? it seems to sort of, we seem to go, oh, it's gone. I'm getting less hopeful by the day, because things around us can make us feel less and less hopeful. And we can start to sort of deflate, can't we? Like one of those enormous balloons when flat as a pancake, you think, well, what's the point? It needs to be filled up. Like we do, we need to be filled up, pumped up with hope. Yes. Psh, psh, psh. Well, how are we filled up with hope? We're filled up with hope when we see all that God is doing. Right at the beginning of the world, in fact, before the world began, God was active. He was starting it all. He was beginning to prepare for that thing spinning over my head, the world where we live. And he was beginning to think about, design and plan what he's going to put on the world. In fact, how he's going to even form it, where he was going to put land and sea where he was going to put animals and plants and trees and birds of the air and fish in the sea. What's your favourite, boys and girls, family? What's your very, very favourite animal, plant or tree? Go on, tell the person next to you. What's your favourite? I'll just talk to myself. Nothing new there. Anyone? Yeah? What's yours? I'll ask you later. An elephant! A giraffe! What's your very, very favourite? A lion! Yeah? A chimpanzee! No. Can't hear a you. lump fish! No. Yes, there's so many incredible, incredible creatures that God designed. It's incredible. The colours, the movement, the noises. It's incredible because God said, do it, do it, do it, do it. Time after time, He designed the most incredible things. And when we can see them, when we notice them, when we don't just walk past them, then it gives us hope. Even this morning I was walking to our church building and I could see things glinting on the path in front of me. Now, I didn't have problems with my glasses or need, you know, a strong coffee to wake myself up. No, it wasn't anything like that. I could see this glinting. And what it was, it was frost on the ground and it was reflecting the sun. And it was just like, it's like diamonds on the road. Hey, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Going around collecting diamonds. It wasn't diamonds. It was the frost. In fact, what like the snowy, frosty snow that was reflecting the sun. And the sunlight was blazing in right across the fields. And it reminded me that God started it all. He created that. He created what we can see around us. He started it all. And he is the source of our hope. And he is the one who can fill up our hope. He can inflate us again, full of hope. 
so we might be full of joy and peace while we trust in him. That's how it works. We need to see. We need to use our eyes and our ears and our noses to smell. Yeah, whatever the smells are. <laughs> we need to use our eyes and our ears and our nose and our touch too, our senses, to sense what God is doing, boys and girls. Have a look around, keep looking, keep exploring, because people are still doing it. They're still finding crazy things deep down in the sea, high up in space, trying to find out if there's living things on other planets. Who knows? God does, because he created it all. He did. Well, let's remember that today. He is the source of our hope. He's the one that we can be filled up in. His hope fills us up. Just like that, sort of. And we can be filled, and then we can overflow. Sounds messy. Well, it means that we can pass on the hope that we have to others. Because, boy, do people need to know hope. People need to know. People need to see. People need to sense the hope that we have. Because it's the best hope for anyone. It's the best hope. In fact, it's the only hope for the world. So, be hopeful, be hope-filled. You made a perfect world in love, made a special place for us, a place where we could live together. Turned and walked away from the perfect plan you made for us to walk with you forever. And there was nothing we could do to make our own way back to you, even though we let you down. With a chance to turn our lives around You stepped into the world that you had made You lift us to our feet and lead the way Thank you for your love Thank you for your grace Through Jesus we can walk So as we reach out and trust in our God today, let me say a prayer for you now. So may the God of hope fill us, fill you with much joy and peace as you trust him. And may you overflow with God's Holy Spirit. And may he be the one who gives you hope, much hope today. Amen go at a crafty game, a sort of craft e game, sort of craft and game combined. Here we go. So, in this game, you will need uh, some pieces of paper, any size will do, piece of paper and a pen. It doesn't have to be a marker pen, it could be a biro or pencil, it doesn't matter, as long as you can see what you've drawn. So it's a drawing game, and what I'm going to do, what we're going to do together, is hopefully we're going to try and draw the same thing. I'm going to give you a topic and I'm hoping that you can draw something, I can draw something and we're going to see if we draw the same thing because I'm going to try and lock on to your brain. I'm going to try and tune in to your brain waves sort of as best I can because I think I'm good at this. Do you reckon? Yes. I'll prove to you I'm good at this. We played this game before and I, I was pretty good. I see, I've been practicing, I'll see if I'm any better now. So, here we go. The first, we've got three rounds. The first round is, we're thinking about our world today. And at the start of Lent next week, we're thinking about our world, the world that God has made. So, I want you to draw your favourite, favourite place. The favourite place that you love to go, if you're allowed to, if you weren't in lockdown, where would you go? Okay, so 
You've only got about 20 seconds, so there's not a lot of time. Have a go now at drawing your favourite place. Okay, and I'm going to have a go at drawing the same place that you're thinking of. Okay. Ready, steady, go. Okay. Yeah, I've got this. Yeah, I've got this. I know what you're thinking. Um, yeah, no problem. Yeah. How are you doing? You all right? Concentrating? Yeah, you'd be wondering what I'm drawing, won't you? I'm wondering what you... I think... I, I know what you're drawing, because... I'm drawing the same thing. How are you getting on? Okay, five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Stop! Okay. Right. Okay. I'm going to reveal what I've drawn and I'm going to see if you can reveal what you've drawn. Okay. So, what is your favourite, favourite place that you love to go if you're allowed to? What have you drawn? Shout it out. Okay. I'm going to reveal mine. And it's the same thing that you draw. Ready? Three, two, one. There it is. What do you reckon? It's your place. Your favourite place. Does it look familiar? Is it the same that you've drawn? Can you see that? Exactly the same. There's the mountains there. There's the sea. There's, there's you were in there. You were low down. You sat somewhere around there. What do you reckon? Yeah. Same place. Pretty good. We tuned in there, didn't we? Yeah? No? You don't agree? Okay. I thought that was pretty good. Okay, round two. I'm going to really try now. I'm going to try and zoom, sort of, sort of tune in, tune into your brain waves, which is, is quite challenging, but I'm good. I'm good at this. That wasn't bad, was it? No? Well, I'll try my best. Okay, round two. Okay, this time we are thinking of our world, but also the animals that live in our world. Animals that we love. Okay, I want you to draw your favourite, favourite animal. Your favourite animal, okay. No matter what it is, your favourite animal, if you were to go uh, to, a, to a zoo or a safari park, or maybe go into the wild and you saw your favourite animal, I want you to draw it now, okay? 20 seconds, three, two, one, draw your animal now. Okay. Okay. How are you doing? You all right? Yep. Five seconds. Oh, I've got this. Yeah. No problem. Two, one, okay. Okay. Right. Okay. I think I've got this. Very confident. The last one, 50-50. I know some of you probably thought it's a bit rubbish. Okay, I've got this. All right. Three, two, one, and reveal that I've drawn exactly the same animal that you have drawn. Okay. So, what was the animal? What did you draw? Right, you ready? Three, two, one. I'm going to reveal mine now. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Yeah, just like yours. Pretty close. Four legs. Couple of eyes. Mine's looking a bit, a bit wild, really. Yeah, probably a bit, a bit hungry. I don't think I'd like to meet mine. Well, mine is yours. We have drawn the same thing. Pretty close there. Yeah, four legs. Tail, sort of, gnashing teeth. You got the idea. Brilliant. Well, yeah, I need to work on this. I've been studying how to zone in to the mind of a child, or the mind of, of people, and see if we can draw something. Okay, this is round three, last one. I'm going to do this. I feel like I need to prove to you that I am able to tune in to your minds. I know you don't really believe me. You think it's just a bit of a, a, bit of a silly game. I'm going to prove to you that I can do this. Okay, so we've done favourite places, favourite animals. Okay, favourite foods. Okay, if you're able to eat 
Your favourite food, what would it be? You know, you go into a supermarket and you choose the favourite item. The favourite item. You know, something that maybe is expensive and you maybe not allowed to buy it. Or maybe it's a bit... It's one of those treats that you can't have too often because your teeth would fall out if you ate it all the time. Okay, think about that. You're in the supermarket now and you're wandering up and down the aisles and your parents or someone said, yeah, just have it. Today is the day you can have it. Okay, right, you've got the idea. Right, 20 seconds, we're going to draw it now. Okay, ready, steady, draw the item. Okay. Okay, I got this. Yeah. I'm confident this is it. I'm going to prove to you that this is the one. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, now I've got this. Okay. Okay, how are you doing? You alright? I know you'd like more time, but I'm afraid Sunday Club is only part of the service. And I think people would... Well, people might not complain if I went on for an hour, but I'm sure some people might. Okay, we got this ready. Okay, we've got the great reveal. Just sort of putting a nice little board around mine. Okay, put a lid on my pen because I'm a responsible adult. And that's hard to believe I am. Right, okay. I'm going to reveal to you that I have drawn your favourite food. It's going down the supermarket, you picked it. Okay, you ready? Big reveal. Three, two, one. Yes. Yes, I have drawn your favourite food. There is a barcode of your favourite food. Yes, it's right, isn't it? This is the food you'd have picked. Yeah, chocolate bar, ice cream, chicken leg, whatever it is. Yes, it's it, isn't it? If you read the numbers, it's absolutely accurate. One zero zero one 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 zero one one zero zero one one zero 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 one one zero zero one. Yes, brilliant. Here it is the crafty game of crafty games. I have read your mind. I can draw what you think. Amazing. is hurting when life is so confusing I am sure of one thing guides by my side yeah when I'm feeling lonely and I start to worry I know God you're near me and you're always by my side yeah and I can lift my hands up to you I can raise my voice and sing You are who I put all hope in I will trust you in everything There is hope